Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. We are here and we have big plans today. We will talk about Zikr. Did you ever heard about Zikr? Usually you saw moms, they have beads in their hands called Tasvi and they are uh, just, you saw the their move, lips are moving and mom is something she is reciting. But you don't know what is the definition of the zikr and why we are saying it is zikr and who told us to do the zikr, if there is any references and what is the benefits of the zikr. Definitely we learn a lot today, inshallah, Aziz. Zikr or dhikr, right? In Arabic it's a zikr, in Latin or Roman, it's a dhikr. Whatever you are saying, better be that you can say zikr because we are using the Arabic word because our language, religious language is Arabic. Our prophet's language is Arabic. Our holy book, Quran, is written originally in the Arabic and we are reciting Quran in the Arabic. Our namaz, our prayer five time, mandatory, it's in Arabic. We can't say that I'm standing on my prayer mat and I, I am reading that English translation. No, then it's not a namaz. You have to have, recite your namaz, your prayer in the Arabic because this is the language of the Quran, language of the Allah Kareem, language of the Jannat, language of the Day of the Judgment, language of the Qabr, grave. When we go to our final destination, inshallah, we will. And the language over there, angels, they are speaking Arabic. That's why Arabic, learning Arabic is compulsory. We have to learn namaz in Arabic. Quran in Arabic, definite, you can understand by the translation, but originally you have do the recitation with the zikr, with the Arabic zikr always, right? So we are saying, we are using the word zikr for the dhikr, even it's called zikr, dhikr and zikr, but we are saying zikr. Literally it means our remembrance of Allah Kareem, reminder. Right, and uh, as a Muslim, we can do the zikr without counting. We can do the zikr counting on our finger tips. We can have a counter, a small colorful counter on our finger that it can reminds us. We can use the beads, tasbis. In the tasbis, there are usually ninety-nine or hundred beads. Uh, we can keep track how much we did the zikr, there you can do as well. Means uh, we are doing the tasbi, the glorification of Allah Kareem, and uh, there's no time, specific time. You can do zikr day and night, always. Wherever you get a chance, you have always chance. Means our hands are busy, we are doing something, a project or something, cooking, cleaning, so, but our tongue is empty. We should make our tongue wet with the zikr always. Why we are doing zikr? What is the importance of the zikr? First of all, the basic source of getting guidance and to get the certified information is Quran, our holy book, the book of Allah Kareem. And there are several verses in the Quran that emphasize the importance of the remembrance of Allah Kareem. Such as in the Quran, you see the word, Inshallah, MashaAllah, God willing, God knows best. If it is your will, there will be a basic, I mean a zikr. And wherever mentioned the importance of the zikr in the Quran, you should know that. If somebody asks you why you are moving your lips, you are doing zikr, why you are saying Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, then you should know in the Quran where Allah Kareem mentioned the importance of the zikr. Definite, definitely you should know. I, I, I'm just giving you the two, three 
examples there is lots of examples in the quran but i am giving you the two three that you can remember you can keep in your mind why the zikr is important in the quran in surah kaf did you learn the um, um, listen the heard the name of the kaf from your moms uh, sometime they are saying on the friday oh i have to recite the surah kaf that's the important surah it's a big surah in a para uh, 15th and 16th in and the moms are and daddies they are reciting that on friday and the, you you heard this word sura kahf and the kids they will memorize the quran or they are be able to read the quran they will know when they reach the para 15 it's a sura kahf in the surah kahf if you open the quran in the ayat number 24 24 allah kareem allah kareem shows the importance tell us the importance very simple ways that a person if a person who forgot to say inshallah right should immediately remember allah kareem and he said maybe my lord will guide me if you forgot to say sometime we are saying i will go there tomorrow but you are not saying inshallah then what quran teaches us in surah kaf if you forgot allah kareem mentioned a story of the person he forgot to say inshallah and then when he remember he said inshallah other words in the quran first i tell you the surah kaf ayat number 24 you have to open the quran and read the translation of that ayah it shows you the importance of the zikr and in the other words i want to mention that it's in surah azab ayat number 33 33 oh you who have faith remember allah with frequent frequent remembrance the people allah pak is just telling the people oh you who have faith look at the words oh, oh you who have a faith faith in who in allah kareem remember allah with frequent remembrance you got it remember allah what is the remembrance it's a zikr and in the surah rahad ayat number 28 allah kareem mention those who have faith and those whose hearts find rest in the remembrance of allah look the hearts find rest in allah's remembrance if you want a peace of heart peace of mind your heart will get peace when you are remembering allah kareem this is the only way and where it mentioned in surah rahad 13th surah of the quran surah rahad in the 28th ayah allah kareem said if you want the peace of your heart just remember me my my remembrance is the key of the peace of your hearts rest of your hearts you got this and our prophet hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam said the best zikr is la ilaha illallah if you want to do the best of the best zikr that's la ilaha illallah there is no deity but allah kareem and the and the best prayer is alhamdulillah it's a praise all praise is due to allah kareem alhamdulillah look it's very light on your tongue it's it's not hard you can say alhamdulillah la ilaha illallah ala zikr when you are saying la ilaha illallah you don't know how heavy zikr this is on the day of judgment it will take us to the jannah inshallah because we are saying there's no deity we are we are we are just claiming that oneness of allah kareem there's no partner allah kareem is only one and this is this is a key to paradise there is no deity but allah and muslim believe in zikr 
it's the best way to get the higher level in heaven. It's the very best way to do the zikr always. And there's different kinds of zikr. I told you, la ilaha illallah. I tell you, alhamdulillah, best way. You can say, bismillah rahman rahim Oh my God, you don't know. What is this? In Bismillah, Ir Rahman, Ir Rahim, there is Allah, Rahman, Rahim. Three biggest names of Allah Kareem is in this sentence Bismillah, Ir Rahman, Ir Rahim. Everybody knows that. Why you are not saying always Bismillah, Ir Rahman, Rahim? And what is the meaning? You know the meaning. In the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Specially Merciful. That's, that's the Rahman and Rahim. And you can, even you can say, A'uzu billahi min shaytan rajim I seek refuge in Allah Kareem. From who? From shaitan. That's the best protection. You can say that. Always. Even subhanallah. It's very easy. You are looking at the plants. Subhanallah. You open your lunchbox with the Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Then you see your favorite lunch in the lunchbox. You are saying Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Glorified. Glorified is Allah Kareem. It's God. Subhanallah. Keep your tongue busy. Busy with the zikr. Even Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. It's, it's so beautiful. Allah Kareem is the greater than everything. All time powerful is my Allah Kareem. And you can say, Astaghfirullah. I seek the forgiveness from Allah Kareem. Astaghfirullah. That's the, I, I, I'm giving you the small examples. Small examples, but they are very heavy. It, in your all accounts, when Allah Kareem will open your account on the day of judgment, inshallah, it was filled with lots, lots, lots of very precious zikr and definite the descent to the root to the Jannatul Firdaus, inshallah. And even reciting the Quran, if you are reciting the Quran sincerely with your heart and make yourself focus. For example, you are reciting Surah Ikhlas. It's very small Surah. Surah Ikhlas with Bismillah Rahman Rahim. If you recite once Surah Ikhlas, once, is equal to the one third of Quran. This much reward of Surah Ikhlas is. Why not you are always, when you are walking, going here, there, upstairs, downstairs, just keep your tongue busy with the Kul Allahu Ahad. With the zikr, with, with the surah class, And every time, if you recite three times, think about. It's one third of the Quran. And if you're reciting three times in one sitting, it means you're reciting the whole Quran. It's equivalent to the Quran in the reward. But you have to read the Quran from beginning to the end. You have to read that. But this is the ajr you can get, inshallah. This is a shortcut. This is as a zikr. You can recite Surah Ikhlas or any Surah, any Surah, even Surah Nasr, Iza Ja Nasrullah. This is a small Surah, right? Everybody knows that is equal to the one fourth of the Quran. Think about how lucky we are, how many shortcuts we have. If we are busy, always zikr, how much reward we get? There is 24 hours in a day. Oh my Lord, we should not be waste our time. We should be busy with the zikr always. Your tongue should be your tongue should be moving with the zikr always. And in the saying of the Prophet, it called hadith. And in the hadith, Nabi Kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned so many places the virtues of the zikr. And whenever you listen the name of the Prophet, you know you have to say sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam. That's a zikr too. That's a zikr too. That's the best zikr. Because if you are saying once, Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam, your 10 good deeds are coming to your account and your 10 bad deeds are going away and your status are going higher, 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 closer to Allah Kareem. This is the best zikr. 
Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And what Prophet said? Shall I tell you about the best of the deeds? The most pure in the, in the sight of your Lord. About one that is of the higher order. And is far better for you than spending gold and silver. Even better for you than meeting your enemies in the battlefield. Where you strike at their neck. And they are striking back at you. The companion replied, the Prophet's companion, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Yes, O Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, O Messenger of Allah Kareem, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he replied, Remembrance of Allah. That's the best deed. So it means, it's higher than everything. Remembrance of Allah. And once our Prophet said, People will not sit in an assembly in which they remember Allah without the angels surrounding them, mercies covering them, and Allah Kareem, Allah Jalla Jahanahu, mentioning them among those who are with Him in the heaven, angels. When we are talking about Allah Kareem, about the zikr, and this is a zikr too, because we are learning deen. And Think about that right now. We are surrounded by the mercy of Allah Kareem. Angels are sitting around us. And Allah Kareem is talking about us on the sky with the angels. How lucky we are. Angels on the sky, they know our name. And they are calling us by the name. That In that sitting, this, 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 this people and kids. And they are talking about me, about Drushif, about Zikr, about Namaz, about prayer about dua about zikr how lucky we are alhamdulillah rabbil alamin what we need to say mashallah alhamdulillah rabbil alamin allah kareem grant us tawfiq again that we can sit again every weekend and we can talk about you your quran your prophet your jannah right and then prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in other uh, uh, hadith he mentioned this hadith is by the Prophet ﷺ. He said, The people of paradise will not regret except one thing alone, the hour, the moment that passed them by and in which they made no remembrance of Allah Kareem. Only they regret on the moment where they did not did, do any zikr. That's the only regret on the day of the judgment at the people of the paradise. And because they know the importance, they can see the Jannah. And they thought, oh my God, how ignorance was there. We don't know the importance of the zikr. Nobody tell us. If somebody told us, definitely we will do zikr. But we are lucky. We know that. And we can spread these words to the other people. And in this way, everybody is doing the zikr and getting closer to Allah Kareem. And in the Jannatul Firdos, we will sit together and then we will think, Oh my God, we are so lucky on that Saturday. We sit together and talk about the zikr. And that's why rest of our life, we are doing zikr always. And now this is the result. This is the fruit of that zikr. We are sitting in the paradise in front of the Prophet wasallam. Inshallah, in front of Allah Kareem, in front of all the Prophets companions of the prophet family of the prophet our beloved one we are we will be inshallah Aziz, in jannatul firdaus inshallah that's why we have to do the zikr and there's the important zikr you know about that that's the tasbih fatima 33 times subhanallah 33 times alhamdulillah 33 times allahu akbar don't forget this zikr do that, count it on your finger, and there is a prayer beads as well that call tasbees, right? There's lots of colorful tasbees. Your mom has them at home. There is 99 and 100 beads always. You, you can use that. You can have a counter to keep track because in the evening, sometimes we like to see how oh, how many thousand times we recite the Rushif and the Every day you can choose the different zikr too. One day Allah Akbar, whole day Allah Akbar, and you're counting on the tasbih. And in the evening you want to see 
oh my god it's a 2000 times you'll be so glad and definite allah will be glad with you as well so you can use that tasbih too and you know what in the states in the new york for the therapy this tasbih was used in 1990 for the people who have a mental tension or some mental issues they they use this therapy for the mental health for the mental health for the rehabilitation in that rehab centers they use the tasbih they know that when a person is reciting something relevant to the spiritual thing because they don't know what to do that's why they thought definite these beads are spreading the peace and the person who who is not coordinating well with has a mental issues or stress or tension or some kind of uh, stress if he read something on the beads he will be fit after some time and we are so lucky even the, in the catholic in the christianity they use the beads too you say in so many if you are going to the mall or somewhere in the parking lot if you park the car and right beside your par, car sometimes you, you saw the small tasbih with the sleep there is it's hanging with the cross in in the car they they have the beads too they have the tasbih too and uh, it's allowed is is allowed to use the prayer beads uh, or the counter or on your finger you can do that and if you are doing the zikr you know that in the we have a sufism too they put different kinds of a zikr in the gathering or alone but i am telling you you are little kids by playing walking if you are in the park on the road side in the school playground just do the zikr i told you just small zikr subhanallah alhamdulillah la ilaha astaghfirullah any zikr you can do that and make this habit inshallah inshallah you will have a successful life and allah kareem definite inshallah let's accept